Ever wonder why your Python API feels like it's running a marathon while Go sprints ahead? Today, we're building a high-performance API in Go, and trust me, by the end of this, you'll be asking yourself, why didn't I switch to Go sooner? Let's find out why Go is like Python on steroids. All right, before we dive into the code, let's address the elephant in the room. Why is Go so much faster than Python? Simple answer. Go is designed for performance and scalability, especially for web services. While Python is known for its simplicity and readability, it can sometimes feel like it's taking its sweet time when handling heavy loads. Go's concurrency model, through Go routines, allows it to handle thousands of requests without breaking a sweat. It's like Python, but with a turbo boost. Enough talk, let's get hands on. First, we'll set up our Go environment. If you haven't already installed Go, Head over to the official Go website, grab the installer, and get it running. Once you've got Go installed, open up your terminal or favorite code editor. Today, we'll be using VS Code, but you can follow along in any IDE. First, we will create a new Go module. We will first type mkdir go api and do cd go api. Once you go into the directory, enter go mod init go api. Next, we'll install the net http package, which comes built in with go. This will allow us to handle http requests quickly and efficiently. Now, let's set up a simple route for our api. It's like setting up a basic flask app in python, but notice how compact and efficient go's syntax is. Let's define our first api route. This will be a simple get request that returns a hello go message. So we are going to have a hello handler function and a main function. The hello handler function takes in two arguments, which is the response writer and the request. And in the main function, we are going to call the hello handler in the http.handle func method. So now, we will head over to the terminal and fire it up using go run. Boom, you've got a working API up and running in no time. Check it out by heading over to your browser and visiting localhost 8080. Let's take this a step further by adding more routes and simulating some API load testing. We'll add a status endpoint that returns a JSON response with the current server status. Let's throw in a couple of more advanced routes like post requests for handling user data. But here's the magic of Go. Even under heavy loads, it remains fast and responsive. Now let's compare this with a similar API built in Python using Flask. We'll run both APIs under the same load using a benchmarking tool. So over here, you can see Go handles significantly more requests per seconds than Python under the same conditions. As you can see, Go absolutely crushes Python when it comes to handling large volumes of requests. So if you're building a high performance API or web service, Go is the way to go. All right, folks, there you have it. We've successfully built a high-performance API in Go, and we've seen why Go outperforms Python when it comes to speed and scalability. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and let me know in the comments, are you Team Go or Team Python?